Now let's demonstrate our safety brake feature once again using this new saw in our shop to make a simple rip cut in this piece of plywood for our demonstration. First, as a part of our safety routine, we check that the blade enclosure is firmly locked into place just above the material to be cut and that the workpiece can move smoothly underneath the enclosure. Next, I'll turn on my blade light and check the blade height adjustment to be sure that it's set properly for the cut we're about to make. My rip fence is locked into place, the table is clear, and we're just about ready to go. Having completed our setup, let's press the safety checks complete button to arm the brake. We get a green light and only now can we start this saw. Let's begin our cut and intentionally make a mistake in handling the workpiece to trigger the safety brake. I'll now turn on the remote dust collector and I'll turn on the saw and we'll begin our cut. Okay, what did I do wrong? Well, here's what I did wrong. I allowed my fingers to come down to the very bottom edge of the enclosure, approaching the blade. And my Whirlwind co-pilot here took over the operation, shut down the saw, and stopped the blade in about one second. Now that I have my act together again, I can first release the anti-kickback poles and draw the stock back just a little bit so that the saw won't have to restart under load. I re-engage the anti-kickback poles, complete my safety checks, rearm the safety brake to get my required green light signal, and only then can I restart the saw to complete the cut. Let me restart the dust collector and the saw. Now let's complete our cut. Turn off the saw and the dust collector. Notice how these cut work pieces do not fall off the end of the table at the completion of the cut as with most table saws because these are securely held down by the enclosure and I can remove the cut work pieces at any time even after the saw is fully shut down. By the way, also notice how amazingly clean the saw table remains behind the blade. The whirlwind extracted virtually all of the sawdust that was generated during our cut. So, at the end of the operation, I cut my plywood just as intended. Nothing was damaged during the automatic safety stop. I wasn't injured and I learned one more valuable lesson about where to keep my hands to avoid a potential serious table saw accident. In a nutshell, that is the Whirlwind Safety Blade Breaking Feature.